Hello there, my name is Ismaus, and today we're going to be looking at uh, some of the best visual effects breakdowns we have online. These are the type of breakdowns that uh, need a breakdown uh, themselves. It's like a tutorial that needs a tutorial. So yeah, uh, we're going to take some time to appreciate uh, the work and effort that is put in making a movie and uh, different scenes, and just to appreciate uh, the people behind uh, this kind of work and. Uh, because they never really get uh, the appreciation uh, that they deserve. So the first work we're going, the first video effects breakdown we're going to be looking at is from Main Road, Astro Post, and this is from uh, their movie uh, or the movie they worked on uh, called Attraction. This breakdown is a very great example of the amount of work that goes into making a visual effects uh, scene. So let's look at uh, this breakdown. Obviously, I'll be leaving a link in the description for the original. Uh, breakdown so that you can have a look at it uh, because this is uh, just snippets from uh, the actual breakdown and you can see I've separated the original uh, the final shot from the original breakdown uh, from the breakdown itself here uh, so we're going to just talk about the things going on in this scene so right away you can see how packed this scene is and now uh, you can see we start with uh, uh, a procedure generation of the city and uh, procedure that is usually means just creating things uh, using algorithms uh, to create, uh, to populate uh, an environment as in case of this city, to populate this city uh, with buildings. But uh, it doesn't really mean that you're not doing a lot of work. It means that uh, most of the work you would have done or uh, most of the work that would have been impossible to do, are uh, you doing it using procedural systems uh, that can speed up your workflow and also make things make it easier to change uh, things. But you always have to start with a base model. So, for example, if you're creating these buildings, you can see we have varied variations of different buildings. Say you're creating, you're trying to populate uh, this this city. You would build, you would model. A single building a base building like this maybe it would have some flaws and uh, then you would have you would model a different you would model a roof on its own just the roof and then you would model the base floor or ground floor separate and you would make variations of these the roof are uh, the the basement floor or the ground floor and there may be some of the these stories you would have some variations and then you would model uh, other th stuff things that go onto the building like outside air conditioners are uh, these air conditioners and then maybe pipes and things like that separately and uh, then you would use your procedure generating system to kind of generate a uh, different variations of a building uh, but so you would have say like six buildings using uh, the the floor you used uh, this floor so you would have say 10 this would have you would be a 10 story building and this would be maybe a 20 and uh, remember you also have other variations of roof designs so you'd have maybe 10 variations of uh, the same roof uh, so this building would have a different roof uh, this would have a different roof and if you have other you'd also generate like more 20 other buildings with variations of these roofs and uh, uh, variations of uh, the different uh, ground floors uh, you designed so this would have design one this would have design two this would have design three and uh, variations of uh, your your AC air conditioner on and then pipes things like that so you just tell uh, the procedure generator where these things go uh, so most of the work that's how you get you, po you populate a building like this and generate different variations of this uh, this breakdown has a part uh, where they show you how they procedurally generated those buildings I'm not co including that in this uh, uh, video uh, so you can just go in the link be below in the description so and watch it yourself it's a very very interesting uh, system in this scene here, you can see some of the work that would go into this scene. Uh, if this was a green screen, uh, you'd have to do a green screen removal or background removal like that. If you don't have a green screen, then you'd have to do rotoscoping, which is simply masking out uh, this character on, from this scene every frame. So if you have 100 frames, that, you, that means you'd have to go in and uh, rotoscope or mask out uh, this character every 
frame, every other frame, and uh, you'd have so you, then you would have uh, two layers. You have the background layer and then this forward layer, foreground layer, which is the character. And maybe do some matte painting uh, to add to fill in the parts where you have uh, removed this character from the background, and uh, then you add in your assets. So because the camera is moving, you can see it's doing a small pan. So I imagine you, you would have to do some motion tracking as well. So you can see, you can easily see how much effort or how much work goes into a scene like this. I have particles going on, so you also have to do that. I have this breaking building, so you have rigid body simulations, fluid simulations for the smoke, uh, the animation for this. Uh, all of that is quite some work. And uh, the main focus here is uh, the buildings, but uh, even these trees uh, take a lot of time. Um, I imagine they they are using a procedural text, a procedural generator to produce these trees, something like speed tree, which can generate the tree uh, with its materials, textures, and everything. But uh, again, you don't just hit a generate button and uh, things just happen. Uh, you have to go in and work with some settings uh, because you don't want to have. A tree that grows in a tropical environment into whatever environment this is you want to make sure that they match so you have to go in and uh, make sure they match what you're going for and usually the director is always there looking over what you're, you're doing and uh, making sure that you're getting he's getting the look he wants so if he wants a different tree you have to go in and start tricking different things and then after you make the best model you can use your procedure generator to generate a from that uh, tricking different things automatically but you'd have to put in some work in the beginning even the procedure generation also requires work because you know just hitting generate and things go in uh, you have to go in and uh, start tricking different things so that you don't have things looking similar too much or things looking too different too much but just look at this scene and uh, appreciate how much is going in uh, these wires here okay so they don't seem to be uh, moving or, or anything but uh, Yeah, I don't think they, they are wiggling to show the effect, but uh, yeah, that's detail, uh, maybe they miss, but uh, you can see how packed uh, this is. I sell 3D models for a living, and I, I understand how much effort goes into just modeling one single asset. Uh, so, and uh, there, it's not just one asset here, it's a lot of assets. I would see in other scenes, we have these uh, light poles, wires, tables, sorry street seats i have some cars going on here uh, those can be procedurally procedurally generated but again i have to come up with a system that generates the materials as well because uh sometimes procedure generations is good but uh, it may not create uh, the look that you want so you'd have to go in and maybe create a different tool just to handle uh the textures or materials that come from uh, whatever is generated by your procedure system so it's not just sitting uh, look at this here and just appreciate the amount of effort uh, that is added into this so again i'll be leaving a link in the description so that you can watch the entire thing i'm not going to show you everything so let me just keep ahead uh, to one of the best animated sequences i've ever seen and uh, also a very well broken down uh, sequence again this is all from the movie attraction uh, if you haven't watched for if you haven't watched that movie do go and watch that movie because it has a lot of interesting things and uh, if that, after you watch it you can come in and watch the uh, the breakdown to appreciate uh, whatever the the work that was done there just look at how much work is done here and uh, most of these things a lot of work goes into this, but some of a lot of these things are not going to even be seen in the movie. Most of them are just going to be cut out or are going to be behind the camera. They will never be shown. You will never see them, but uh, they have to go in in case in case you you see them, in case the camera sees them. Look at the cars in the background here. Uh, the camera shot doesn't start from this. This is just for the breakdown. Uh, so this is the camera shot. You never see all those cars that were behind the trees maybe in a trailer park or whatever but uh, that work was also done just look at how this scene was done this is the same car so it starts out at the back here 
the scene starts out at the back here. Uh, this is what the car I was talking about. The entire city was almost built uh, for this scene here. And uh, most of these were no things in the background here were not captured by the camera. So, but that work had to be done. Yeah, so you can see a lot of rigid body simulations going on here. Maybe even some soft body uh, simulation. So we are looking at the same car here and then the camera speeds up. The time is stopped for a second then the camera moves forward it's the still the same car the camera is just moving forward in time and then going to the next frame it's just amazing i wish this was part of the movie uh, it wasn't uh, the scene was part of the movie but how this scene was broken down i think is also very very interesting and i i wish it was part of uh the movie i, I won't just show you i won't show you the, the entire scene you can just go to uh, to the cg meetup channel and watch uh, the the entire a sequence up uh, there uh, so let me just move forward uh, into a different uh, breakdown again this is also from main post uh, they have the best uh, VFX breakdowns I've ever seen uh, this was for the movie star Stalingrad St I'm not sure how to pronounce that but you can see what's going on here particle simulation uh, camera motion camera tracking object tracking a lot Every scene is packed. Just look at this. Uh, I imagine some of these might be hand animated, or uh, using, or some of them can be used, can be animated using crowd uh, simulations, uh, simulation system like Massive, a uh, crowd simulator. Or there are a lot of crowd simulators out there. Uh, but uh, yeah, so just look at this. I can't even imagine how movies are made in just three years. It's, it, it seems like a very little time for the amount of work that has to be done for each movie just look at this scene uh so time for setting up this set uh, because you can see this is the original plate uh you, you can see these buildings are uh, they just built uh, the front facing side you don't you see there is nothing behind here and they use camera mapping to kind of create some perspective there uh, maybe adding some uh, perspective and uh, depth uh, to the scene. Uh, you can see they also added, built, added some elements to this so that it's just not one single face uh, facing you. Uh, there is a lot of motion tracking going on, object tracking. It's a lot going on here. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't always go noticed uh, to a lot of the viewers uh, it's only people who are in the, the industry the visual effects industry that can appreciate uh, this to uh, the amount it should be appreciated just look at uh, this the, cinema, the cinematography everything going on here is just amazing again you can go in uh, you can go to the links i'll be leaving in the description uh, to look at uh, the different scenes now this is just showing off I, I i have to say this is just showing off and the amount of money that would have to be packed here i can't fathom i mean if you're paying each character each person that is going into this movie into this scene i don't know how you you would be breaking your bank this and i imagine they did pay everyone so you're doing a uh, background removal you're doing uh, fluid you're doing smoke simulation uh, which is usually the same as uh, fluid simulations you're doing particle uh, simulation compositing and uh, I think there is also object tracking in some areas so in scenes where you see people being burnt on fire I can see the, the original play doesn't have a uh, people on fire so you'd have to do object tracking and this is not object tracking that you see uh, people do in Blender, uh, where you just have one hand and uh, a few markers uh, to track that hand. It, the, the hand is usually non-deforming in uh, the tutorials or videos you see for Blender. Uh, so, but here, if I can find a scene, you can see the layers that are being added there. If I can find, now look at this here. Let's go back a few seconds. You see how this hand is just uh, being as as he's kind of throwing his hand. It's also deforming uh, from the uh, his joints. 
So that has to be tracked in, uh, the hand deforming. Uh, you have to track that. And uh, they're, they're not wearing any special suits to make it easy for tracking. There are no tracking points. It's just them wearing whatever they're wearing. And uh, it's up to the artist to get uh, the tracking, the tracking right. And uh, yeah, I can't imagine how much work was put into this. And uh, the people doing this work are never really mentioned. They are just thrown uh, in the credits after maybe five minutes into the credits. That's when you can see uh, their names. And uh, they're usually 10 names on one line. And and it's not like the, act, the actors where it's a name, one name per line. It's usually 10 names per line for these uh, guys doing this work and they do most of the work for this and the actors also do a lot of work but uh, again it's their work is usually usually ends in the first year of filming and then the rest of the work is up to the uh, visual effects guys uh, the editors uh, maybe the director as well uh, to get every to put everything together you can see this was the original plate Let me see if I can find This was the original plate. Nothing much is going on. Uh, you can't watch a movie like this where there is just a few frames here. It's not that intense. Now, you add in the smoke, more fire here, more frames, more flames. And now you can see how interesting it gets. Uh, so it, a lot of work is going on here uh, that is not appreciated. So... As people in the industry, I think we should always take the time uh, to appreciate it. That's why I appreciate the movie, the uh, the videos made by Corridor Digital, talking about the things, showing uh, people out there how much work goes into uh, the things uh, they the the movies uh, they watch. You can see we have some object tracking. You see how this these frames are deforming on this person's leg. He was not where he was not being he was not lit on fire during the shoot and uh, this all was added in after uh, the shoot so yeah look at that yeah again i'll be leaving a link in the description for you to watch any of this so this scene here you can see uh this i imagine the there was no fire and uh, maybe they did some a bit of lighting but to capture the shadow the shadows and lights are from this fire they had to do some uh, object mapping and camera mapping so camera mapping to uh, get some shadows uh, around the shapes here and uh, just appreciate this shot here this final shot is like the money shot uh, just things coming together the the entire is an entire seat generated and uh, look at everything being packed into this shot everything is all cg uh, the lake is cg uh, the lights are cg yeah so again let's take uh, some time to appreciate these names here uh they are the guys behind uh, that uh, breakdown all that all those scenes so yeah i'll be doing this more often uh, depending on how how it goes and uh, your feedback uh anyways uh thank you for watching subscribe uh, leave a like and uh, maybe share some some of your thoughts over this uh, and i'll see you in the next uh, video thank you